When you read gardening books, gardening magazines, when you speak to the gurus, they'll tell you one of the biggest problems in gardening, in containers or in the soil, is overwatering. Overwatering is one thing, but it's not really about the overwatering. It's all to do about the soil that you're growing it in. So when we use traditional potting soil, which is bark-based media, and that certainly is a good all-purpose, but if we're starting to get a little bit more specialized, then we need to go one step further. But this is what I want to show you what happens when we're using predominantly bark-based media, and it's called compaction. So I've given this guy good watering. One would expect all of the soil medium to now have absorbed a lot of the water. We saw a lot draining out, which is a good thing. You never want water not to drain out. However, there were two things that I observed. Number one, as I was watering, it was just sitting here, okay? It took a long while just to drain through. The second thing we're gonna observe is right now, when I take this guy out of here, outer edges, very, very wet. But right where it matters, where the roots of the plant are, we have a very dry medium still. This is where adding Akadama comes in. So this is a double red line Ibaraki Akadama, directly from Japan. Ibaraki Akadama is mined. So what happens is it comes out in various sizes. It is then sifted to give us some kind of consistency. And the way we get it is the size of these little granules ranges between three to five millimeters. So there's great consistency. And the Ibaraki Akadama takes about two to three years to finally break down into its powder form. So the great thing about this Akadama is it tells you when it's thirsty because this is a mineral, as it absorbs as much water as it can, and as it starts drying out, it's going to change color and revert back to the original color that we started off with. So what we combine the Akadama with is Hayuga pumice. Now we've heard of pumice stones, it's ringing a bell somewhere in your head, and this is basically a volcanic extruded product. Now it's produced when lava has high amounts of water and gases, and they are all discharged at the same time in this lava. As the gas bubbles escape, the lava becomes frothy. And when this lava cools and hardens, the result is a very light rock material filled with bubbles of gas that we know as pumice. So what's good about pumice and, and why should we be using it? And more importantly, why should we be combining it with Akadama? Well, there are a couple of things. Number one, folks, this product has nice sharp little edges. When you've got flattened bits of product or flattened bits of material, that is eventually going to sit on top of each other and form compaction. But because our pumice has sharp edges to it and of different sizes, you're going to get that very, very good aeration pockets that we're looking for. So when we've got air in the soil, we're having what we call in gardening, and it's a, it's a pretty heavy topic, but I have to tell you, it's called cation exchange capacity. Basically what it means is that the plant is gonna be in a happy space. The plant will have enough oxygen within its mixture, within its soil mixture. It'll have enough moisture. And when we combine those things together, we are going to have happy roots. So guys, when doing your basic mixture, this is what we're gonna recommend. We're gonna recommend three parts Akadama, three parts pumice, and one part of your seedling mix or your potting soil. And because we've been using these little tins, guys, it makes life much easier. Right, once it's in, we then give it a good mix, guys. And this is where you're going to see where this comes alive. Because we're dealing with a volcanic extruded product, we're dealing with something that's been mined that has a high mineral content um, and a very, very small amount of bark, we're actually working with a lightweight durable product and the interesting thing is that your pumice never ever breaks down. So there's different methodology here. One, you could take this and you could wash and clean all these roots. The other thing that you could do is just take it as it is, give it a good shake, pop it onto the side and we're going to transplant that into a new container. And in that way, yes, you've still got a bit of the soil there, but what you are doing is the majority of it is going to be this beautiful mixture. 
There are different applications and different ways. Some people that put a little piece of mesh at the drainage hole and always make sure that you've got a nice big drainage hole. I'm just gonna put in some bits and chips of some broken terracotta pots, popping these onto it so that you're stopping your beautiful substrate from falling through. So what I want you to do is the following. You're gonna fill the pot just over halfway. Then you're gonna hold your plant to the right level that you want it in your container. We're then gonna take small little scoops of our mixture and we're gonna start feeding it in. As we're feeding it in, I'm holding it steady so that the roots are now getting surrounded by it. It's already holding nice and firm. We just add a little bit more in round. And then what I do is I take a little paintbrush, works like a charm, and all I do is I now just feed it in like that. As I'm doing that, you'll see it's dropping. So here's our mixture. What's most important is that, look, I can't actually compact it. I can squeeze it as hard as I want and I can't. Whereas if I took a traditional potting soil, I can compact it and it stays. If I take that, it breaks open again. Other ways that you can use this, and I've had great results are as follows. Now, this little guy over here, I haven't touched them. All I've simply done is given them a good watering every fourth day with, of course, a bit of added nutrition into my water. But what I do want to show you is the great rooting. Look how it's held onto the pumice and the akadama, and it's actually penetrated directly through some of the akadama. And that shows good, healthy white roots. So folks, here we have two products which when combined and added with our traditional soil mix or even just used on their own, provide us with one of the perfect growing environments for whether it's leaves, for whether they are little cuttings and for whether it's a small little succulent or even just a large container mix. A couple of things I really enjoy is that the color changes when it needs water. So you know when to water it. It will never compact. Plus you've got great aeration, which means you will never overwater, plus get any root diseases. Hayuga pumice and Ibaraki akadama are available from your local garden centers and leading hardware stores and distributed by Fragrant.